Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another uh, video with some big news. Uh, the Avatar The Last Airbender video game coming out in late September. They already got the cover for this. It's going to be on pretty much all the current systems, 4, 5, Xbox, or PS, PS4, 5, uh, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, um... It's going to be on these things. It, it's, it looks great uh, from what I've seen. It's going to be $50. I don't know if that's going to be a good price point for it. Um, it uh, Excuse me. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender Quest for Balance. The, 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 the trailer looked really good. It's very reminiscent. A lot of people actually were confused if this was the... Uh, that uh, game that uh, was being made on PlayStation a couple of years ago by a fan. Uh, it is not, but it is very similar to it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they <laughs> sort of kind of took the inspirations from what they created uh, to make this because it is very, very good. This could probably be the best Avatar game to ever come out. Uh, quite frankly, uh, the Avatar games that came out during the time during Avatar The Last Airbender's run weren't that great. Um, they were okay for what they were, but they were nothing spectacular to write up about. So I'm kind of really hoping that this game kind of changes and it does seem like there is going to be voice acting in this. Uh, that's one of my biggest concerns because you guys know... Obviously, I prefer the original cast coming back. I don't like how they're, like, I guess going to be changing the voice actors uh, in the new movie. I Obviously, some of the, 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 the cast can't come back for obvious reasons. They got other things going on. Um, you know, some, or I should say some people are just not in the industry anymore um, or and or grow, grew up. But a lot of these voice actors... And I've and I've talked about this, but a lot of these voice actors that did these uh that did these characters are still in the industry and can still do the voice. Jessica Flowers, the voice of Toph, could definitely, in my opinion, still do Toph's voice. I mean, I hear her, I've heard her multiple times doing the character's voice still, despite her being an adult now. So, uh, and I know Sokka's voice actor can still do his voice. Um. So, I just not liking this whole, oh, we're going to change the voice actors just because we're in a different, like, I don't know, I guess, like, divide on how voice actors should be casted now. Um, I get that they want to have certain characters be casted based on how they really look like in real life but again these are fictional cartoon characters i have to reiterate that these are fictional cartoon characters and i don't think that you know you should take voice actors away from especially legacy characters uh it's voice acting it's not actual like real live action acting where you do have to get the actual right ethnicity or whatever um it's not the same. Uh, it's not the same in anime, so why is it the same in cartoons? You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be my big hurdle with this um, because I, I think they should get the original voice actors back. Uh, the voice actor of Qatar uh, recently said that she wasn't coming back for the movie, so um, I don't know if she's coming back for this. Um... um so I'm not exactly sure what the status is now. The movie is technically different from the the movie is technically different from the game because the game is them being younger. You know, obviously it's going to take place uh, during the Avatar timeline, um, Avatar: The Last Airbender when they were kids timeline. So there is a possibility, but based on the way the voice acting climate is these days. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be a thing. Uh, we did hear a voice uh, doing the uh, narration. As you guys know, that was Katara's voice. Katara 
you know, always just, I don't know if that was a re thing, a re a reused clip from the anime or if that was uh, a new clip. It did sound like Katara's voice actor, sort of. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I know in the app game that they recently came out, Avatar Generations, they did have some voice actors that did kind of sound like the characters, despite we don't even know who those voice actors were, because uh, I don't think the voice actors in the app game were confirmed. But this is kind of where it's at right now, unfortunately. Um, excuse me. Like I said, when it comes to voice acting, don't expect anything less when it comes to cartoon American animes uh, because it seems like, for some reason, that uh, it's okay to cast people with different ethnicity backgrounds for fictional characters when it comes to anime, but it isn't with cartoons. Yes, I know, it's hypocritical and it makes no sense, but... Unfortunately, that's kind of seems like where it's heading. Um, and it just seems like that's what's going to happen with this game or the movie. I, I've talked about this already, but it just seems like that's what they're going for now, uh, unfortunately. Um, but in terms of the game, i seen the trailer. The graphics looked great. Um... And, uh, uh, the, like, like GameStop already has it on their website and they're pricing it for $50, uh, $10 cheaper than what a, a regular released game would be these days. I don't know if that is worth the price, but, um, and they don't really have any pre-order bonuses at this time yet. So, I, again, not sure um, what people's line of thinking will be when they pick this game up. Um, but, uh, I am very, very excited for uh, what's to come. Um on this game from everything what they see it's basically trying to you know redo the uh, like retell the anime in you know a video game which i think is pretty cool um i'm curious to see what they what else will be able to do in the game um but i like what i'm seeing so far um from some of the things that uh, are being said about the game, um, the chapters, there's supposed to be some, I guess, puzzle, master the elements, complete engaging uh, puzzles, um, you get to explore. I wonder if it's going to be like an RPG or something, like where you can like just kind of go around anywhere you know and do things maybe even do stuff in the comic books like things that happened in the comic books that would be kind of cool too if they would kind of adapt that um but it seems like it's just you know reliving the the story of what happens in the avatar world um but like i said this game to me is like It looks like, graphic-wise, and so far what they're presenting is going to be the best version of Avatar. Uh, and you can also play as, um, you can play as uh, Aang, Toph, Sokka, Katara. It does say nine characters, so I am curious to uh, who else we can play as. Uh, maybe we can play as Zuko later, or maybe we can play as Suki. Um, I think that will be really cool. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm wondering if they're going to have anything else besides just the story mode, like you know things where you can battle against each other online or something like that. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Um, if they have something where you can actually battle against someone online, you know, in a one-on-one -on -one battle or something besides just, you know, doing the story mode. 
But uh, so far, I like what I see, and I, I highly recommend people check out um, the the trailer. Again, they're going pretty fast on this. Um, you know, obviously, this game was in development for a long time. We had heard rumblings months ago about a leak uh, about this game coming out. Um, well, we didn't know what the game was, but there was a leak last year that this game was coming out. Uh, but we didn't know what it was because they didn't kind of describe what it was or anything. Uh, it is kind of interesting that they didn't want to reveal the game sooner. Like I said, there was a leak, but it they, we didn't know if it was a real thing or what the Avatar game was. Um, I am kind of... Because usually, usually game developers try to reveal stuff like... A year or even maybe nine months in advance before the game comes out uh it seems like they wanted to do the opposite of this it did kind of actually accidentally get leaked but nothing got leaked to the point where like we knew what the trailer was we knew what the name was so i guess they kind of got away with that we were kind of all just uh suspecting if the game was coming out or a game was coming out or not um but now we know the game is coming out, but it's going to be coming out in a couple months rather than, you know, waiting for it later, I guess, so to speak. Uh, I would love to know what you guys think about this. What do you guys, are you guys going to buy this game? What one are you going to buy it for? I'm trying to figure out if I want to buy this for the Switch or the PlayStation 4. Um, I'm really starting to lean towards buying more stuff on my Switch now because... Uh, you know, there's just a lot of glitching. The whole AEW Fight Forever debacle, you know, as you guys know from the video I made yesterday, supposedly there's some stupid patch glitch uh, where you have to turn off the, the the internet connection on your PS4 network to be able to play the game right now until they fix the patch. Personally, I think we should get some type of free compensation for this bullshit. Um, but... After that whole debacle, I spent $70 on that, and I can't, I can't even have my internet on to play AEW Fight Forever, you know, which means I can't stream because um, I'm having problems with my OBS connection. Uh, so I couldn't use the built-in stream on the PlayStation. That kind of pissed me off. So I might buy this game on the Switch going forward. I might start buying more games on the Nintendo Switch going forward. Also, I'm getting really pissed off that, like, the whole TV screen, it gets chopped. Like, part of my TV screen gets, like, cut on the Switch uh, or on the, on, the, on the PlayStation, and I can't fix that. Like, I've literally tried so many different things to fix it. Like, it, the maximum screen doesn't let me go any further, and then on my TV, I can't fix it. Um, so... With the Nintendo Switch, I can fix it, by the way, um, where it will see my screen. So I I'm probably going to start buying more stuff on the Nintendo Switch going forward um, because that's just some fucking bullshit at this point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to have to try to get a better capture card, but I think from now on, uh, Nintendo Switch is the way to go for me. Um uh, at this time, unless I have to, um, because that just pissed me off, but anyways, that's getting a little off topic, um, I am excited about this game, nonetheless, I really looking forward to this game, are you looking forward to this, let me know what you guys think about the voice acting whole thing, uh, do you think they'll bring back the voice actors for this game, since they technically are the kid versions of the characters or do you think they're changing the voice actors like they're changing the movies as you guys know my stance on that legacy characters should be able to keep their voices i, I just and, and also again they're fictional characters i think people are getting this way too seriously now um when it comes to this when, when it comes to casting especially since in anime they don't do this i hate to break that to people they don't do this in anime uh, anime, they do not do this. 90% of the anime characters' ethnicity would not be able to be cast if that was the case. Um, so I, I just don't understand it. I, I get why they're doing it, but 
I think there needs to be a middle ground on certain things when it comes to ethnicity castings. Um, you know, uh, I think there needs to be some type of middle ground where you kind of be like, okay, we're going to cast these people, but then we got to kind of go with the best person in because the, with these fictional characters and stuff like that because it's fictional. It's not. It's not live action. If it's live action, yeah, hundred percent. Voice acting, it's different. It's cartoons, guys. Uh, so I really hope they can bring back the voice actors that made these characters big. Uh, and that's what I want to see. I want to see Dante Bosco. I want to see, you know, Tara, Sokka, Jessica Flowers, all these voice actors. All these voice actors need to come back. Not just one. Not just one, because I know Dante's coming back. But they need to all come back. You know, the ones that are still in the industry. You know, that's my take on that. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the game. Comment, rate. If you like this for my videos, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell for all the latest contents. Thank you. And that is it. I am the S. Ultimate Goku, and I'm out of here. Peace. Also, besides my YouTube channel, make sure to follow me on my Twitch, the SS Ultimate Goku, Instagram, the SS Ultimate Goku, as well as my Discord link, where we talk about cartoons, anime, sports of wrestling, and NFL football, live action movies, live action cartoons, all that good stuff, even Avatar stuff that we just talked about in this video. So, yes, now I'm out. Peace!